Hey everyone and welcome. This is episode 12, season 3 of Variko Wednesdays. I hope you all had a great week. I uh, wanted to talk to you about decisions today and uh, how I go about taking these decisions because I've realized that the way that I think about decisions has really helped me in my life. Um, at the end of it, most of our job, whether as a manager or just as a person living life, is about taking decisions and taking decisions in such a way that you get better and better at taking them. And uh, <clears throat> the one heuristic that I've always used while taking a decision is thinking of them as reversible and irreversible decisions, or rather outcomes. What it means is, <clears throat> in my experience, a lot of the decisions, as close to 90-95%, are decisions which are very reversible in nature. That means it actually doesn't matter what decision you take, you can always go back to taking another decision or another choice. But we just get caught up in making and taking that decision and spend so much of time in thinking about it, deliberating it, and worse off, asking for more and more data, which is one of the things that I spoke about in the previous episodes, that we <clears throat> ignore the importance of that decision and the effect that it would have on our lives in general. And there are very few decisions which are actually irreversible. It actually matters what decision or what outcome you choose. And it surprises me that we would spend just as much energy on them as we would spend on the ones which are reversible in nature. And these are the meaningful decisions that will literally alter your life in big ways or not. And it matters how you think about them. It matters what's the construct that you're using to think about them. And it matters how comfortable you are with taking that decision knowing that it's irreversible, that it possibly cannot be changed, that it's something you'll have to live with. I'll give you an example. A lot of people think that when I was in consulting, which by the way was a great profession right out of business school, it was quite a crazy thing for me to quit that and then join a startup to become an entrepreneur. And to me, honestly, that was a very reversible decision. And it was because I knew that I had a great ISB education. I knew that I had built a good network and I knew my strengths and my capabilities. So for God forbid, if the startup didn't work, for whatever reason, I could always go back to the world that I'd come from. I could always go back to either consulting or some other profession and it wouldn't really damage me. But the regret that I would live with if 10, 20 years down the line, I did not become an entrepreneur and instead just continued working as a consultant and asking myself, what if, what if, what if, was far, far, far greater. So to me, it was a very reversible decision and a decision that was very easy to make. But compare that with me coming back from the US after dropping out of my PhD. Now that's an irreversible decision because you can't really go back to starting your PhD, at least not in the same construct and in the same way that you were. And that meant that me coming back from the US and starting my life afresh with no plan in mind was a far, far, far more critical decision to make. And I had to be very sure of why I was making that decision, just as you have to be sure of why you would make that decision, which is irrevers irreversible in nature. And I can guarantee that a lot of people, if I were to do an opinion poll and ask which of these two decisions are more critical, would say that leaving consulting and leaving that determined pay package and that very generous pay package and the lifestyle and everything, and then taking an 80% pay cut and joining a startup and becoming an entrepreneur in uncharted waters, in uncharted territories, was kind of stupid. But coming back and dropping out of education is like yeah, the cool thing to do and almost everyone who's successful today does it. But no, it's actually the other way around. And this, this heuristic of thinking of decisions as reversible and irreversible is very, very, very helpful. And I'll encourage you to think about that as well. And you'll be surprised once you start thinking about it, how many decisions you actually take in your daily life, which are reversible in nature, where it doesn't matter what decision you're taking, what matters is that you take a decision. Because a decision taken is a decision well taken. But wherever those small cases where it is irreversible, and you'll have only a few of those cases in your entire life, it warrants you to think about every possible thing and take into account every possible element of your life before you come to a conclusion, because those will be the ones that will shape up in your life, that will shape up your life in a way that most likely cannot be reversed. Until next week, I'll see you all. Bye-bye.